some people hear uh, uh, social construction as a as a kind uh, as a philosophy that says w we make up our worlds, you know, kind of from whole cloth, and that is not at all what what I would argue. To me, um, the classical idealist philosopher is the one who sees, who would say reality is of the nature of mind. And uh, so what uh, I usually, I frequently say in my classes, if you take a, a leaf off a tree, a green leaf, and turn over and look at its back, the back of the leaf has asymmetrical, or bi, uh, bi, uh, bi, bisymmetry, symmetrical bisymmetry. Right, the, uh, the uh, veins are regular on the back. And an idealist would look at that and say, now that's evidence that this tree, this leaf, was created by mind. And while this leaf might be important, there's something more important behind this that is of the nature of mind, whether you call it God or nature or something like that. The fundamental reality is uh, 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 the nature of mind or mental or not physical. That's what the idealist would say. The realist would say the leaf is a palpable thing that you can sense and it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's data, uh, it's concrete. It's uh, a naturalist or a realist would say that. A social constructionist would not deny that there is something in one's hand. That the leaf is real is unquestionable. What the leaf is, is emerges out of context among people, between and among people, as we make sense out of the world that we encounter. So for me, a social construction perspective is not one that says, if I walk across the room, you know, I, I won't bump into anything because I haven't constructed a wall and it's all made out. I'm gonna run into something. Uh, facticity, that things exist, is unquestionable. Human reality is interpretive reality, that is, we interpret everything we encounter, and that interpretation process is a social process, and a process that occurs by virtue of our inhabiting the language that is our home, or the language in which we are working out this understanding. And so it's that distinction between that it is and what it is, and that for humans, um, there's no unmediated contact with the that. It, all the contact we have is, how, is through our interpretations.